Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm back again tonight, this being now my last opportunity to continue pressing for the need to extend a critical loan deadline for small businesses before we expect the fall economic statement later this month. Here's what got us to this point. In the pandemic, small businesses, they did what we asked of them, closing their doors to slow the spread of COVID-19. The federal government then rolled out a really important program to help them, the Canada Emergency Business Account Loans, or CBA Loans for short. These were interest-free loans of up to $40,000 for small businesses and nonprofits, which were later increased to $60,000. Here's the most important part, though. Up to 33% of the loan was forgivable, meaning it was a grant if the small business paid the rest back by December 31st of this year. Here's what small businesses in my community had to say about how critical the program was. This is Graham Kobayashi from Counterpoint Brewing Company. Graham says, quote, we were operating very successfully prior to the pandemic. However, we're also a very new business and we're able to amass only a small amount of savings when COVID arrived and the lasting conditions of COVID lockdowns ate away at them very quickly. The SIBA loan was a lifeline for our business. Without it, we wouldn't be here today. Ian McMullen from McMullen's Pub and, Put and Pizzeria, his quote, the SIBA loan was a significant source of help for my business to get through the pandemic, and without it, we would have been in the red on multiple occasions. The SIBA loan was absolutely essential to our survival as a business. These are small businesses that were operating profitably before the pandemic, did the right thing to close during the pandemic, unlike big box stores, and now are disproportionately experiencing lasting impacts of longer than expected pandemic lockdowns. It's why this past summer, more than 250 local and provincial chambers of commerce, including the Kitchener-Waterloo Chamber of Commerce and national business organizations, including the Canadian Federation of Independent Businesses, Better Way Alliance and Restaurants Canada, called for an extension on the time that small businesses would have to pay back the full loan and still qualify for the grant portion. I met with small businesses in, in my community this past summer. I heard their concerns, wrote both of the ministers responsible, and met with the Minister of Small Business this past summer to convey these concerns. All of which is why I was so disappoint, disappointed in September when the Prime Minister announced a mere 18-day extension to repay without having the grant portion of this program turn into another loan. I then brought up in question period during Small Business Week and I didn't feel like I got a real answer to the question. That's why I'm back here again this evening. Here's what CFIB has found about the changes the Prime Minister announced in September. They found a majority of business owners, 82%, didn't find the changes to the SEBA repayment schedule helpful. And more than half of them are questioning whether they're going to be able to stay in business if they lose the forgivable portion. It's obvious the federal government hasn't listened to small businesses after small businesses stepped up for us. And businesses in my community are frustrated. Here is Sam Anabi from Full Circle Foods. Quote, as independent business owners trying to do the right thing, we often take on a lot of personal responsibility, and yet I can't help but feel frustrated at federal grants given to massively profitable national grocery strains with no strings attached, while independent small businesses in our neighborhood have to shut their doors. Carolyn Mackey from the Frugal Decorator is saying she's frankly very worried about the expectation to pay back the SIBA loan. The date nearing to continues to leave her in a very difficult financial position. My question to the Minister or Parliamentary Secretary is whether he's going to... I, uh, I have to give the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Small Business the opportunity to answer. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm happy to respond to the comments made by the Honourable Member for Kitchener Centre regarding support for small businesses and the Canada Emergency Business Account payment deadline and loan forgiveness. The pandemic, of, uh, sorry, since the beginning of COVID-19, uh, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, the government has been there to provide unprecedented support to Canada's small businesses across the country. And that's why at the onset of the pandemic, we launched the Canada Emergency Business Account Program. This is in addition to critical and much needed supports like the rent and wage subsidies that were put in place to assist small businesses. 
CEBRA provided $49 billion in support to nearly 900,000 businesses across the country, Madam Speaker. The program offered interest-free partial forgivable loans up to $60,000 to eligible small businesses. It kept their lights on and helped workers remain employed. Early, early last year, to help business owners as they continue to recover from the pandemic, the government announced that the SEBA repayment deadline for partial forgiveness would be extended by one year. The government also understands that the current global economic environment is having a major impact on entrepreneurs and Canadians. We recently announced several changes to the SEBA program aimed at supporting economic recovery. Recognizing the challenges that small businesses continue to face, Madam Speaker, in the current economic context, we have yet again extended the deadline for partial forgiveness uh, to January 2024, and we have extended the SEBA term loans by one year to December 31st, 2026, to offer businesses more time for their loan repayments. Madam Speaker, small businesses asked for more flexibility, and the government listened. The government is also supporting small businesses by cutting credit card transaction fees and by, by reducing the small business tax rate from 11% to 9%. We have enhanced the Canada Small Business Financing Program by increasing annual financing to small business by an estimated annual $560 million through the introduction of a, work, a working line of credit, excuse me, a working line of capital to help businesses uh, access liquidity for startup costs and intangible assets. And for businesses looking to bring their offerings to the digital marketplace, the Canada Digital Adoption Program has supported enterprises of all sizes to digitize and reach more markets. Moreover, Madam Speaker, we are ensuring that all entrepreneurs have the opportunities they deserve. That is why we launched the historic Women Entrepreneur Strategy, the Black Entrepreneur Strategy Program, the 2SLGBTQI Plus Entrepreneurship Program, and targeted supports for Indigenous entrepreneurs. Madam Speaker, the government is focusing on growing our economy and building a stronger, more resilient Canada for everyone. We will continue to support Canadian businesses and, and throughout this recovery process, because quite frankly, Madam Speaker, that's common sense. The Honourable Member for Kitchener Centre. Well, Madam Speaker, the Parliamentary Secretary and I agree on one very relevant aspect of his comments, which is that the SEBA loan program was a critical one, and small businesses are deeply grateful for it. However, the reality is that today over half of these same small businesses are trying to tell this government that if they don't step up, they might not make it at all. And they're trying to tell this government that 18 days isn't going to cut it. And so my question to the Parliamentary Secretary is, does he understand what small businesses are trying to convey? And if he does, is he advocating for a proper extension to December 31st of 2024 to be in the fall economic statement, which we're expecting in a matter of weeks? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you again, Madam Speaker. The government has heard loud and clear the, that small businesses needed, needed additional flexibility and options in these difficult times, and, and that we are taking action. This includes an extension of the SEBA loan repayment deadline, more flexibility on refinancing, and more time to access loan forgiveness, Madam Speaker. Through these measures, we are giving small businesses additional breathing room. The government will continue to support small businesses across the country while we grow our economy, fight, fight climate change, and create an economy that works for all Canadians. Thank you, Madam Speaker.